Minnesota was a savvy place in the late 1800s. The state specifically advertised in Northern Europe as a place with endless opportunities coped with similar climate to Northern Europe. Anoka in particular was connected to the east by rail and it was a thriving growing community with flour mills, sawmills, a shoe factory, starch factory, and a host of other small manufacturing businesses. Not only were there jobs, but good schools in a healthy environment. Thanks to the Rum River and Mississippi River, which were used as dumping grounds to get rid of garbage and sewer. With the promise of such a prosperous and healthy life, many people came to settle in Anoka in the, in the 1870s and 1880s, particularly from Scandinavian countries. In 1926, the Crown Prince of Sweden stopped by the Anoka train and the newspaper reported when the prince asked how many Swedish people were present, there were hundreds of hands